What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my Phoenix Right Let's Play. And last time, there was some shenanigans in the court with uh, Miss Angel Star. And uh, I had an argument with the game, because the game wanted me to... I was right the whole time, but the game was being a dick and wanted me to do things differently and in the long way. So I was really pissed off, and uh, now I'm trying to get back here. So let's just continue and uh, try to present the evidence now. So can I now present this without, you know, doing some shenanigans? Objection! Yes, I can. Thank you, game, for not being a dick this time. Thank you. So, uh, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against uh, Miss Lana's guy. Objection! Objection! The witness is a former detective. Her testimony is unmarred by personal bias. Biage. Well, who would have thought that you would be my knight in shining armor? Prosecutor. You who together with the chief prosecutor kicked me out two years ago. Oh, oh, so that's why she is having a crutch against prosecutors and the chief prosecutor and this prosecutor, Edward. Uh -huh. Hmm. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? Ooh, scary music. Hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. Hmm. Let's take a look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you couldn't possibly have seen Miss Guy making that phone call. Oi! I believe you see what I'm getting at. That emergency phone on the back of side of this partition. On the back of side on of this partition. Yes. If indeed you were in B block, you couldn't have seen it. What? What? Order! What is the meaning of the meaning of this? Simply, Your Honor, she is talking bullshit. Yes. Arr. That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps uh, you will allow me a question. Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told to the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about what she saw, where she saw it. The order of events. Uh, basically, she has been lying about what she saw. Basically, or oh, hmm, it could be this one too. Where she saw it, because you know it feels kind of random that you know she would have told us that she made that call. And she apparently, you know, she got it right that she did call someone. She did call her sister with her phone. That is correct. And she knows it. So, it must be this one. She tried to use the emergency phone, uh, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? Nothing. It would be pointless for her to lie about it. Indeed. Pointless to lie? I see. The witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. In other words, Miss Star witnessed the crime from a different location. Jackson! A different location? Now that's a pointless lie if I ever heard one. Jackson! Before you call my lie pointless, at least let me tell you. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith. Hehehe, <laughs> Mr. Wright. Just where was the witness when she saw the crime? Alright, all the testimony we've heard so far, we heard until now, points in one direction. 
The place from where Miss Star witnessed the crime see crime was here. And someone is calling me. Let me take a sec. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. That was a friend of mine calling again. But um uh, anyways, uh the place from where Miss Star witnessed the crime was here. And, uh, okay, let me just check. Okay. So, she actually claimed that she saw the crime from here, but that is BS. So, it must be somewhere here. There's no other option. Somewhere here. But I don't know if, if I put the mark here. Or oh, here, does it make a difference? I don't know how the game wants me to go with this. But uh, I'm pretty sure that she didn't climb the fence, so uh, she must have like uh, came from here. Here's the security room anyways. Or could it be the security room itself? Hmm. I don't remember this part, but it, it, now that I think about it, it could actually be this. She was in the security room, and then she ran over there to catch her. What a percent this? This is the only place where she could have been. Security guard room? Indeed, the security guard room in the underground parking lot is well positioned yes and I yeah I think it can also see over the wall like what is this random wall anyways but you know the wall is not high enough so she could have seen the crime from there but then why would she have waited I don't even know that just doesn't everything doesn't really seem to be in order if she saw um, her stabbing the victim mr. Goodman if she would have been a good citizen she would have instantly ran from the security guard station but then how did she also saw her trying to make a call with this phone first and then making a call with her, her own phone. Yeah, how how could that be possible? It doesn't make any sense. There is some shenanigans right here. Cause seriously, how could she have also seen her doing the, make, make, trying to make those both calls before arresting her? If she ran instantly, she she saw her killing. The victim. There is something going on here. But anyways, I digress. It's built on the second level, so you can see the entire lot, indeed. Hmm. She would have been able to uh, see the emer emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places where she could have seen the phone. Oh, oh, oh. Not in this case, Your Honor. The witness not being part of the prosecutor's office couldn't park in A block. The only place where she could have seen the crime and the back of the politician is here. I remember in your testimony you said I was bringing lunch to my boyfriend. Yes, I got it right. Yes, in the security room, yes. Well, Miss Star. How many years have I been getting the better of men? I think that the tables could be turned. Today a man has got the better of Angel Star. Order, order, witness. But why does she tell us such a pointless lie? If she witnessed the crime 
from the security room. Why did she not tell us this in the first place? Because still, it doesn't change the fact that she has saw Lana Sky murdering her. And, you know, that is what uh, we are proving, trying to prove here wrong. We are trying to get Lana Sky innocent. But why does she lie about pointless stuff like this? That is kind of... Hmm. Why does she do that? I do not know, but hopefully we will get answers soon. What have you done? You used to be a detective. You should know better. I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty? Is she talking about Miss Guy? Um, right, doesn't this strike to you as odd? Yes, why did Miss Star lie? It doesn't make sense, indeed. That is what I was rambling about one minute ago, huh? She could have just said that she saw the crime from the security guard room, or the station, whatever. It wouldn't change anything. But now we can question her whole testimony, since she was talking BS. Exactly. This photograph tells all. Yeah. Uh-huh. It was the defendant who stabbed the victim. Yeah, and we got this photo. So, what? What in the world? She. It's like she was in two places at the same time. That first she took this photo, then she went to the security guard station and witnessed the murder from there. That wow. And to think the only way she could have Do you really think that she would have climbed over the fence and you know Hi, Lena, and then went to the went, went to the security guard station and then witnessed her killing after just seeing her a minute ago. The, 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 uh, there's so much shenanigans. The truth still stands. Jackson, Phoenix, please could you point out that how could this photo exist? when she was actually in the security guard station. Yes. I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. Please point it out, Phoenix. Please do it. What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this. Yes. She wouldn't risk that without a good reason. Boom. So... Tell us what her reason was, Mr. Wright. Er, uh, I don't know. Me? Who else? Er, uh, maybe the witness, you know? No. Ah, that would be dumb. She would only lie us more. Hmm, Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. Hey, let's do that. Uh, Miss Starr witnessed uh, the crime from the security guard station. Which apparently is correct now. But she lied and said she saw it from B Block. Yes. But apparently she saw something from the B Block. Otherwise, she wouldn't have the photo. Or did someone else took the photo and give it her? Give it to her. Must be a vital difference. But what? would change that. Angle of the view to the crime, distance to the crime, difference in lighting. Uh, yeah, it must make a vital difference, but what would change? The angle to view the crime. Let me just go to the code record real, real quick. Check out the floor plans again. So she was like somewhere over here. 
And then she was here. Hmm, so yeah. Okay. So indeed. First she claimed she was here indeed. And then she was like here. The distance doesn't really change that much, but the angle does. Which, you know, in this case makes a huge difference in my book, because otherwise she could not have seen her, you know, first of all she couldn't have seen her through this wall. I think I'm just gonna answer the first one, the angle of view to the crime scene. Distance to the crime, difference in lighting is kinda, you know, just a random option to throw you off guard. I think. I'm gonna go with this angle one. Why the angle at the angle at which she saw? She saw. I should really do the she she sells seashells on the seashore. Wow, that was horrible. Anyways, I digress. So she saw the crime occur would change. Yes, the angle. What do you mean? Um, well, the security guard station is on the second floor, and um, she would have sort of a more 3D view of the crime. Oh, and this is important. Why? Um, am I going to get a penalty? I am. Okay. Let's review what we know. So, now I can't afford to make any more mistakes, that's cool. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. But she lied and said she saw it from b -plog. What a difference. The distance to the crime. Well, I guess the distance to the crime. It was about the same distance, but... You know, I guess the biggest difference would be then, you know, would have been easier for her to, you know, catch her. So, change the distance between her and the scene of the crime. Really, my condolences is for Mr. Wright. But, one look at the floor plans and it's quite clear. It's 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. Objection! What she saw is not the question here. What matters is the time to take her to rea uh, reach the scene of the crime. Who? Oh? Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now how long did it take for you to go from there to the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Guy. Hmm. Well, witness, you. Yes. Right. The quality of my lunches has gone from low to inedible. Okay. Indeed. I was bringing a PB and J lunch. With my, with fresh boys and berry jam, okay, to my boyfriend, right? Boys and berry for the boyfriend. Heh <laughs> I see what you did there. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass walled station. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. But the door was locked. I couldn't open it. Right. That's why I had to go to the visitor's parking in the B block. That's quite a detour, indeed. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Five minutes? 
Hmm, this changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it, I have photographic evidence. I swear it, I swear it on my finest plastic spark. Right. You have a point, and the spork is a wonderful invention. Would you like to have another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Uh oh, Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Do I have any other evidence to stop this? And I think this is a pretty good uh, spot to end, end things here, and next time when we come back. We are going to find some evidence, hopefully. So, uh... And we are going to raise an objection, most likely. That is what we are going to do. So that will be next time, indeed. So until then, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace!